Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dishwasher tine clip. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new tine clip. The tine clip is attached to the dish rack and it holds the tine rows in place. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if it's broken or damaged and the tine rows are not staying in place. In order to change the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door and pull out the lower rack. There's two of these tine clips on this dish rack, so make sure you order as many as you need. In order to get them out, you want to make sure that these sleeves are in the out position so it makes it easier to take them off. Once you have the sleeve in the out position, you can disconnect the tine row from the clip. All you have to do is press on it to disconnect it. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. To get this off, all you have to do is lift it off. It's a little tight, so just slowly pull up on it. Once you have this side off, then we can rotate it up and pull the other side off. Here's the old tine clip next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you put this down onto the bar, you want to make sure that it's up against this cross member right here so this piece goes on the opposite side and holds it in place. Once you have it in place, we can put the tine rows back in. You want to make sure that your sleeves didn't fall off either one of them. And then you can push the tine row back into place and make sure it locks in. And then we can do the same to the other side. You can move the tine rows around and make sure they're in there properly and they're not going to fall out. Now that you have the part installed, we can push the lower dish rack back in and close the dishwasher door. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and give it a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.